The soil in many parts of the world contain very high salt. They call saline soil. This kind of soil is so hard to grow things, especially when we grow rice or very short life plants. They die so easy because the high content of uh, salt make them die easily. When I was a kid, most of my area are salty soil or saline soil. When we plant the rice in the water, the rice grow okay, no problem. But whenever the water decrease, the rice start to die very fast. They dry up and then the plant, the rice die also. And even grass cannot grow in this kind of soil. We have a big problem for many, many years in the past. And when I was a kid, after rainy season, the topsoil will turn to crystal of salt, like this. When we step on it, it's cracked, like we step on grass, broken grass. This is salt. So we just scrape them and dissolve them in the water, and then we filter them to get clear salty water and then we boil that clear salty water we will get salt this area we make a lot of salt every year in the past and then we use this salt to trade with rice with another village who have no problem like us so we suffer a lot with salt or saline soil for many many years later on there's some people in the village they think about how can we solve this problem they add rice husk they fill up with rice husk about two inches thick and then they plow mix this rice husk and soil together they keep doing like this for two or three years and after that it start to be better and better and now most of the salty soil in our area turn to the best place to grow jasmine rice. We have no more problem with saline soil in our area anymore. So from this experience, we found that whenever we add compost or add anything into the soil, just cover very thick, that help all the problem in our soil. This is my experience when I was a kid we have to fight with saline soil a lot and then at the end we learn that it's possible to solve this problem and then it doesn't cost much money we use rice husk mostly at that time but now i think we can use anything that can decompose just to cover the soil as thick as we can it will help to decrease the salt in our soil very fast. I have no experience to work with the soil nearby the ocean because my area is quite far away from the ocean. Many people who live close to the ocean, they have problem with saline soil too, too salty. But I think it maybe work well. I just have a little bit of experience to do gardening during the COVID-19, I was in the beach nearby the ocean. And then at that time, I have to do gardening on the beach. Sand beach is very salty soil. So I try to grow vegetable along the beach. And then if I plant on the sand directly, all of them die because too salty. But when I sweep a lot of leaves along the beach and then make a bed with leaves, it's about half a foot height. And then I cover that bed with uh, topsoil from somewhere a little bit. And then I plant vegetable on top of that. It worked well. Not very long, the leaves decompose. And the soil, the sandy soil in this area start to be more dark color and then we can plant more things after that so i learned that all kind of soil 
if we want to heal our soil. The easiest way is cover the soil. Don't let the soil expose to the sun. Just cover it as thick as you can. It will help with all kind of problem of the soil. So, so far I feel very confident to work with any kind of soil. I don't worry much about that. I think all kind of soil, we can make it into good soil. As long as we have water, we have mulch or leaves or anything can decompose, we can use that. It's not too hard to do that. It's possible.